Hey guys, what's up Sagittarius? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, um, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Please keep in mind that the energies can go both ways, so this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with, so flip-flop it how you need to. Uh, also keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everybody. But if it does with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. There you are at the bottom. Alrighty. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. Could be dealing with an uh, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be any of that, but you've been waiting for someone. Could have been a distance. Could have been a heartbreak. All right, immediate future for Sagittarius. What's coming up for them? All right, second time I done seen that card. That's the Nine of Pentacles. You guys are really focused on yourself lately, like knowing your worth, working on your money, your stability, your home, your abundance, or somebody around you could have been. It's the Magician and the Two of Cups. So you do have love for somebody, but they could be at a distance, or this person could have broke your heart. Could have been a Capricorn, could have been something toxic like that, but so not too much movement there in the past, really. But numbers are breaking down to a one, which is are, are, are about new beginnings, uh, you know, ending for new beginnings. And you do have the magician there, um, which is about creating something. So, all right, damn, you guys have the nine and the ten of pentacles with the uh, hierophant at the bottom. So you could be working on something spiritual. You could be dealing with a Taurus. But there's a connection that you're headed towards. With the King of Pentacles, there's a lot of abundance around you or someone that you're dealing with. Like somebody's really stepped up their money, their game. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is all about, you know, focusing on yourself, your money. And it looks like you or somebody else has really did that with the Ten of Pentacles here. Could have been busy with a lot of things. Um, but I think that's changing now. You have the tower. Show me the seven of cups. It's like you're thinking about other things now. Or this person. Somebody's done got like their self straight. Their money straight. Feeling good and in their power. Um, yeah. Somebody wants to talk. Somebody is definitely like noticing you. Um, I don't think you've been paying too much attention to this person. Because they're going through some type of upheaval, or you could be. Uh, it's kind of an intense time, or it really has been. Uh, a lot of stress. Uh, you put in a lot of work here. You could have really just been focused on your work and your money type of thing. But anyways, let's see. It's like now something has changed. Somebody was focused on herself here, and now something has changed. They're daydreaming, they're thinking, contemplating, and now they want to talk. Show me this magician, please, for Sagittarius. Too many magician, please, for Sagittarius for the immediate future. <laughs> There's that Ten of Swords, complete opposite. All right, tell me about this Ten of Swords because we went to an ending here. So, this is somebody that you, that you know, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here. Um, you've cut this person off. Or they have cut you off, vice versa. You could work with this person. Um, somebody took a very logical approach. Wants to approach, uh, wants to manifest. You definitely could work with this person. Um, there may be something you need to cut out or that they needed to cut out. But somebody is taking such a logical approach here. It's like somebody is feeling completely defeated with that five of swords. Yeah, you could be dealing with the Scorpio, but somebody wants to freaking talk. It's like they're in love with you. They could want to travel, but they see you as their emotional fulfillment here. This could be an apology. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. But this person is just like seeing you for what you are. And they're trying to work on this now. It's just a defeated feeling about this person. Um, if there was something that needed to be cut out, could be a Virgo. Um, it's looking like they possibly cut that out, especially with the Seven of Swords at the bottom. There could have been um, some sneaky energy in the past or something like that for sure. But it's like somebody knows knows their way now. 
and they're definitely wanting to focus on this um, and try to rebuild something. Show me this two of cups for Sagittarius, please. One card. Two of cups for Sagittarius for the immediate future. Could have met this person online. You could have worked with them. Two of cups and the three of cups. So there is love here. Uh, you're celebrating, hanging out, that type of thing, getting a drink, chilling. And there's mutual love. Like, you're having that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Could be dealing with the Gemini, but there's jealousy around it. There could be competition or a third energy that's kind of came in between this. So this person is trying to cut that out. It's like they know how they want to proceed now, or you do. Because you've really been standing your ground here. You know in your worth, and you really came up. Somebody has definitely came up here. Um, but there's jealousy. There's definitely uh, energy in the middle of this. And it doesn't have to be like another person. I mean, like, uh, like an affair or something like that. It could be family. It could be somebody's job. It could be, you know, just anything that is a third energy. With this lover's card, this is the soulmate energy, Gemini energy. But there's always that third, you know. There's always something that comes and gets in the way of it. This chaos, this drama. So I feel like there's jealousy around this. Um, but somebody definitely, there's uh, with the three of cups. You know, it's definitely hanging out, something like that. Somebody's regretful. You have two fives. Somebody is really stressing something new with you. They really, it could be an Aquarius or a Taurus here. But somebody really wants to rebuild. I don't feel like they completely know how because... Um, they're feeling regretful here. They may be a little argumentative um, about some shit that happened in the past. A uh, little, you know, um, wish I wouldn't have did that kind of shit. Where was I going with this? But, um, so there's not too, too much action. But we have two fives here for the outcome. Definitely could be a reconciliation because somebody knows how to proceed now. Like, they've done their soul searching. Um, but th somebody's definitely struck and wanting something new, wanting to rebuild, seeing you as something long term, wanting to start a new cycle. They see you as your victory. You could be seen in the public eye or getting some type of recognition and uh, and work as well. And that really caught someone's eye. But somebody, Knight of Cups, um, coming forward with a love offer here, wanting to move forward, seeing that future with you. This is your energy with the temperance card, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Like I said, somebody is very stable and wanting to be that provider. They're just very confused though, like overthinking about this so much stress and anxiety. Um, cause they definitely, either you ghosted them or they could have ghosted you or just been breadcrumbing, um, like doing the least here, but they don't want to let go. They want to put in this work. They want to talk. That's a little bit further down the line. So anyways, um, there's definitely a, uh, an opportunity for you to rebuild something here. Something that kind of, that kind of crashed. Um, definitely could be at a distance. This is someone that's broke your heart and now they want to come fix it. This definitely could have been a sneaky energy. Could have been a Pisces involved. But um, it's like they're trying to rectify something. Rectify some type of deceit or secrets or lies or whatever this is. Because somebody got cut out here. Um, and the magician can be a sneaky energy. So that's not for everybody. But um, the three of swords just wants to pop up. So not a whole lot of movement. It's more like there's shit around this. And somebody is regretful now. There could have been. I mean there can be a um, a, a reconciliation. Because we go from the two to the three of cups. So they definitely want to talk to you. They want to try to see eye to eye. The king of swords is about communication. Um, but in a logical way. Because this person does have uh, a lot of love for you. Here Cancer Scorpio Pisces. They're coming for something new communication for a new beginning because you're where their heart lies they want to talk they want to hang out for some of you guys their their anxiety or something may kind of be holding this back like right now in the immediate future but they definitely see you 
communication is is coming in the very near future but for right now this person feels defeated but they can't get you off the brain here yeah they're going through a transformation you could be dealing with the scorpio as well but it's like they're, they're also making the decision to end something here because they want something new with you definitely for sure you're on the brain like can't get you off of it it's looking like you stood your ground you focused on yourself or somebody did and they really like i said stepped up their shit all right, Sagittarius, hope this helps. Hope this resonates. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time.